Hi everyone, Ziggy here from Ziggy Zag. First of all, I would like to thank all of you, my dear viewers, as well as to my regular subscribers and my new subscribers. So it has been a couple of days and we are now back here in Cebu from our trip from Boracay. I hear you guys. I could see a big spike in views and in subscribers because of this uh, Boracay travel video. So definitely there will be more travel videos for you in the near future. Thank you for all your support. In this video, I will show you our final day in Boracay before heading back to Cebu and some recommendations and tips you might want to consider when you go to Boracay. Hi everyone, Ziggy here from Ziggy Zag and um, today is our fourth day here in Boracay. Time check, it's around 7 in the morning. Our flight for today going back to Cebu is around 5 in the afternoon. Today is our final day here in Boracay and we are going to have a quick swim before heading out for breakfast. Now I don't know guys if it registers here in my video but that from the distance where the mountains are, those are windmills. Very nice. It is an amazing day today here in Boracay, guys. The sun is out. The sea is blue. And the weather is way better than the past couple of days. They're getting tickets there. Sit here. Here at Baraka Airport departure area, they got treats, a shop, there's Blue Smith, they serve coffee and pastries, just like Starbucks coffee beside it. There at the end is the Island Souvenir Shop.
Welcome to Cebu guys Char There's duty free Philippines here and all the way to its right are the taxis and the buses This is Cebu Terminal 1 Here is my first tip or recommendation when you travel to Boracay. Number one, hotel or resort accommodation. Now, especially if you go at the low season, you should know by now that Boracay has a high season and a low season. I have a video here that explains further the high season and the low season. It is a great idea for you to have a hotel or resort that has a swimming pool just in case it's a rainy weather or not ideal for swimming like it could be the, the winds would be strong or the waves are rough so you have an option to swim by your hotel or your resort swimming pool tip number two is you can skip breakfast in your hotel or in your resort guys there are a lot of food choices in Boracay from all day breakfast to lunch to dinner I tell you, even if you stay in Boracay for a month, you will not be able to try all the food establishments there. That's how many it is. And of course, guys, desserts. I mean, you can't skip dessert. Top of my list is Coco Mama. Something to look forward to when I go back to Boracay. And uh, Jonas. Fruit shake, of course. It's also good. And definitely a must try when you're in Boracay and the san sebastian cheesecake guys from totally bananas it's really good uh, the taste was really new to me the combination of banana and cheesecake very nice and they made that cake the execution of that cake uh, the texture was really good tip number three guys here's what i noticed in boracay the water activities if you come here to the Philippines, especially if you're not, or if you're Balikbayan, or you're not from the Philippines, consider doing the activities in Boracay. I mean the water activities, because they tend to be cheaper or more affordable compared to having the water activities outside of Boracay. The reason for this is Boracay's market for the water activities can get saturated. So they can gather a lot of people for group rates and you know even if you're a couple you're a lone traveler they will find a group for you you will only be paying group rate instead of individual rate i'm not saying all but most of the water activities like for example the banana boat ride the parasailing this is in comparison here in cebu the parasailing rate in boracay is significantly lower than if you have your parasailing in cebu Yes, it's a definite de destination, but same parasailing experience. That's what I'm trying to say. I could be wrong in this in some areas. Um, do please comment down below if you have um, your place has a lower rate than Boracay's um, water activities. But that's what I noticed. Boracay's water activities, most of them tend to be more affordable compared to other places and resorts in the Philippines. This is for budget food choices in Boracay. Um, there are only a few I can mention. I'm sure there are a lot more, but based on this recent Boracay experience, definitely number one on the list is Jasper's. They serve Filipino food choices at affordable prices. And guys, there's also Pares by the beachfront. The Paris, oh my god, so good. Um, Jasper's and um, Beef Pares, I mean Pares Hilton. I will definitely uh, come back when I'm in Boracay. Now, here are things that you might want to know or you should know when you go visit Boracay. For all entryways going to the beach, I tell you, there are peddlers, at least three to five depending on the entryway to the beachfront don't worry guys Boracay is a safe place there are lots of uh, cctvs around as well as police that do regular rounds around the beachfront there's police visibility 
Another thing in Boracay, if you're there on a weekend, especially on a Sunday, guys, there's a Catholic church. It is at Station 1. You can check out my previous video where I visited the church that they have there. That was it for this video guys i thank you all viewers um it has been a an awesome boraca experience as well as the awesome viewers and subscribers that i got so i'm truly thankful to each and every one of you and i hope the videos do help you with your boracay plans or your boracay for your boracay vacation if you enjoyed the video do me a favor and click the like button share this video out there leave a comment, and please consider subscribing to my channel. And remember, life is not a straight line, but a zigzag. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, but always keep moving forward.